Hello all, this video is on the new version 4 of PISM 004T energy monitor module. The older version 3 module, you can see a uh, yeah, yellow capacitor 0 0.47, 275 volt yellow capacitor and a discharge resistor, 2 watt resistor. The IC is V9881D, that is the energy monitoring IC, measurement IC. And to the right hand side, you can see some optocouplers between TTL pins and the 9881 IC. This is the older version and it uses 100 amps current transformer coil. The same coil is used in the new, new version also. The model is 004T 100 amps. In this new version, this uh, yellow capacitor, the discharge resistor and the optocouplers are missing. Instead, it uses uh, uh, at the left hand side you can see 2832 IC and uh, T1 inductor, small inductor. At the right hand side uh, this optocouplers are missing and the communication between this 9881 IC and TTL is through RS485 IC, another SMD IC is used. The same type of 100 amps uh, current transformer coil is used in this new version. The connection, let us see the connection. At the left hand side screw terminal, top two terminals you have to connect the current transformer at the bottom two terminals you have to connect the neutral and phase of the input that is the 230 volt ASI and through the current transformer you have to pass on the phase wire of the load so the one, one wire that is the phase wire of the load should pass through this uh, current transformer and reaches the phase the other end of the load that is uh, neutral wire directly goes to the neutral. This uh, connection, pass through connection is very important to sense the readings of energy values. So here we have used a power strip, the uh, three pin plug top is cut and we have taken the phase wire and passed through the current transformer. The other end that is the neutral wire of the power strip goes directly to the neutral of the input AC. So this is the main connection of uh, current transformer and to the right hand side you can see the TTL connections where you, we are going to connect ESP32. Connection is ground TX RX and 3.3 volt. This new version is capable of working with 3.3 volt. So there is no need of any uh, level shifters between ESP32 and this module. We are going to use one baseboard like this for ESP32. So this baseboard has got a uh, jumper. If you place the jumper at 3.3 volt, the three rails, that is the red rail will become 3.3 volt, black rail ground and the yellow rail is all GPO pins. The plug, uh, we are going to plug this ESP32 on this baseboard. Direction is USB should face the USB. And for uploading code to ESP32, directly USB cable is used here in this uh, USB socket. On the baseboard, USB is not for uploading code, only for power. And UR2 we are going to use, that is GPU 16 RX, which goes to TX of the PZM, and GPU 17 RX then goes to and TX will go to RX, reverse connection. The most important point is that the phase wire of the load should pass through the current transformer. This is the simple connection TX to RX, to RX to TX and ground common. Now let us see the code. First let us see the code without using any library. We include hardware serial.h. We use serial 2 of the uh, uh, ESP32 to talk with PZM. The slave address is 01 PZM and 04 is RIR, uh, read input register of mode bus. And the register address location to read from or declared. For voltage it is 000, 01 is current, 03 is power, 05 energy, 07 frequency, 08 is power factor. And after that response size and timeout is declared, GPU 16 RX, GPU 17 TX, initialize the serial 2. And then the mod bus CRC 16 for error checking and uh, bytes of CRC at the end of the hex request code is appended. It starts CRC uh, error checking starts with 0xFFFF and then XOR each byte into with uh, CRC and uh, finally appends the CRC to the uh, mod bus request code final CRC. 
and then we send the read command modbus request the parameters are first register to read 000 and number of registers to read each is two bytes and response buffer to store the incoming data expected length of response is 25 bytes and then we build the command frame to read the registers starting from 000 and then the final command bytes before crc is 0, 1, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 a and then we finally append the crc calculated over this six bytes there is a little indian order we append the crc send the command using serial dot write that is the eight bytes and then wait for the response and validate the response is 25 bytes under the loop we read the 10 registers starting from 000 it has all data old current power energy frequency we pass the response data and extract the real world values and then the uh, calculation fact that is a scale factor is applied 10 uh, and this is the command hex code command request we send the request wait for the response read the 25 bytes and uh, parse out the data now upload this code under the serial monitor you can see the values the you can see the values only when the ac power is provided when no ac power is provided to this board you will not see any readings now once the ac power is uh, provided do not touch the board it is very very important it is very dangerous and under the serial monitor you can see the values all the values voltage 230 volt frequency current according to the load the what is calculated and current energy everything is displayed and uh, most important is that you do not touch the board once the power is given now let us see the next code using library the library used here is uh, from the library manager mandula this is a very excellent uh, library written by jacob mandula install this uh, library well designed library and if you want more info go to the github page you can see the definition of all the functions here and in esp32 it is not using any software serial only hardware serial is used and straight away you can get the example code from here we have taken the example code from this uh, github page and we are using it here this library wraps all low level modbus rtu communication crc calculation command parameters and the data uh, passing error checking everything is done by this uh, uh, library excellent library use serial 2 for esp32 hardware uart and then read and print the device address the device address is from 0, 01 to f7 it uh, reads all sensor values and then uh, each of the each of this uh, each of these functions calls is sends a modbus command to pzm to retrieve the data all scaling and crc handling is done automatically by the library and finally in the uh, serial monitor you get the values the ac power to the board must be on to get the values and once you provide the power to the board never touch the board it is very dangerous now you get all the values automatically that is parsed out for by sending the modbus commands that is done all uh, work done in the background by the excellent library now let us change the load to a higher wattage bulb and then switch on the power once the ac voltage is switched on you can see in the serial monitor the values uh, you can the values change that is the power is increased the current rating energy everything according to the actual load is displayed now let us add OLED to the to this uh, ESP32. This OLED is I2C module, and uh, I2C connections you can take straight away from the uh, baseboard. It is uh, uh, taken out at the SDA21 and SDA22. 21 is SDA data, 22 is SCL clock and in this code we first use this libraries pzm 0040 
library wire.h for i2c adafruit library for and ssd 1306 for oled the oled display settings 128 by 64 and create oled object name display and then use serial 2 that is gpu 16 and 17 of esp32 wire.begin for to be initialize oled we use the i2c address 0x3c this is very important the i2c address must be correct otherwise you will not get any values in the oled under the loop we read the parameters each function sends a mode bus request to pzm waits for request waits for response and returns the scale value and finally print it on the serial monitor as well as on the oled the oled uh, functions are also used the display to display the values that is a clear display set text size text uh, set cursor and then the display values so you get values on serial monitor as well as on the oled check the oled uh, you can see the volt current power frequency everything displayed as in the serial monitor once you switch off the power to the board that is the ac power to the board uh, the communication is cut off so you get reading only when the power is on and finally this code uh, let us see the code for changing the address of the uh, pzm module in this code first it will display the address that is uh, 0, 01 is the uh, default address of the pzm and it will ask uh, whether you want to change the address you feed in the address that is the range is 0, 01 to f7 you feed in a value to this address new address and then type in yes y e s once you type in yes the new address is uh, changed the pzm address will be changed for uh, this address to be effective you have to switch off the power ac power and then switch on and then provide a reset to the esp32 now the address uh, of the pzm has changed so like this you can change the address of the uh, pzm using library it is very easy to change the address so that you can use multiple pzms at the same point uh, thank you for watching